All right, Inez, I think every woman in this country knows that there is sexism in our country still. Of course there is. It's not on an institutional level, but there's always going to be individuals who are sexist. But to make a claim, as Elizabeth Warren is doing, and the media is echoing, that she lost because of sexism, does she have any evidence that that is the case? No, she doesn't have any evidence that, to, uh, that that's the case. And I actually would, would flip it around and say if Elizabeth Warren were a man, uh, she would have dropped out before Cory Booker. Uh, <laughs> she, she played the female victimhood card as hard as it could possibly be played. And actually, I think, uh, I think your monologue had it right. I think that was a large part of why she ended up being such a failure as a candidate. Um, even among Democrats who generally you know, buy this institutionalized sexist, um, sexism narrative, which I don't buy and you don't buy, um, the fact that she just played that card over and over and over again, she tried to hit Bernie with it in a disingenuous way. Every time her poll numbers tanked, it was because of sexism. Um, it got very, very tiring, and, and particularly coupled with all of her personal stories that turned out upon any further inspection or digging by the press, to be highly dubious, right? All of all of her stories of personalized victimhood because she was a woman. Um, I think what really what really killed Elizabeth Warren's campaign was her own disingenuousness about what a big victim she was because she was a woman. And and it's no surprise that she's going to end the campaign the same way that she ran it, which is by complaining that she's a victim because she's a woman.